So you've got to keep your eyes peeled for the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> you get a special prize if you can see it. Okay, we finally made it to Inverness in the airport here. And we're gonna fly gyros over Loch Ness. And yeah, I'm a little nervous. We're definitely in Scotland now. A gyro with, with plaid. <laughs> Looks like they have some sort of METAR map, but not from METAR maps. And we got Dan the man Milliken, that's pretty funny. Big breath. That was the past. Yeah. All right. Today's a new day. Today's a new day. It's all going to be safe. It's good today. Okay, we're going to start with checklist. Okay. Listen to that through our phone. Inverness information. Alpha. Time one zero two zero. Runway news zero five. Transition level. Flight level four zero. All departing aircraft. Contact one one eight decimal four zero five. Inverness information. Alpha. Okay, we've got everything we need there. Good. Are you ready to go? Yes. You know, my ex last flight notwithstanding, um, you know, I've been taught that these are safer than fixed wing. I would argue that that's the case. You would argue with that? Yeah, no, I would agree. You would, agree. would agree, okay. Absolutely. I would much rather be in a gyro if... Uh, if an engine failed. If an engine failed than uh, an aeroplane. Yeah. You know, very confident of putting it into a, a nice little field. Inverness Tower, Golf, Charlie Golf Zulu Golf is a formation of gyrocopters with oh, Golf Charlie Kilo Victor Zulu with information Alpha QNH1024 request taxi. Yeah. It's funny, on the internet, you, you post videos, everybody will have an opinion. We'll go with Erica. We tend back. to go with that uh, description um, just because we like it. And, uh, it's easier to say gyrocopter. It is. Yeah. It is. And I think uh, you can imagine we've been called all manner of descriptions by various air traffic controllers over the years. And uh, when when uh, controllers are, are trying to point this out to other traffic, with if the word copter is in it, they've got a, a better idea of what they're looking for, you know. Uh, whereas gyroplane, you know, you kind of think, well, do people know what they're, they're looking for when they're looking for us in the sky? Within two miles, you travel bound traffic to the north east. Yeah, well, we can fly this one at night as well, which is oh wow, great fun. Um, it's only the Cavalon Pro that's allowed to do that at the moment in the UK. I believe uh, the other manufacturers are looking at it and uh, thinking about installing the required equipment. So uh, we could find that all gyros in the UK in future might be night ready, which will be good. Okay, who's going to do the takeoff? You or me? Uh, I would love to. I need okay. to get back on the horse. Okay. So, let's just talk through it. Okay. So, uh, you squeeze and hold the wheel brake when we're on the runway. Okay. okay. Squeezing it together. Um, 
will then uh, uh, get the power to 2,000 engine RPM. Okay. Which uh, on this one we've either got we've got the variable pitch prop here, which is um, which is what we're going to set the power on. Okay. Okay. We then engage the pre-rotator, which is this button here, around the side, okay. and we press and hold it in. We're just going to turn and do our engine checks here. We'll then uh, allow the engine uh, and pre-rotator to synchronize, so we just hold it and wait. Then we'll increase the power until we've got maybe 250 uh, rotor RPM. Okay. Okay. We're then going to say one, release the pre-rotator. At 250? At 250. Okay. Two, stick comes fully back. Okay. Three, release the wheel brake. And four, add power to initial. Now we're not going to go full power, we're just going to add a little to start with. Okay. And then as um, the rotor RPM will drop and come back up, and as we get it back to 250, we're going to allow the stick to come forward about a fist distance, maybe an inch or two. Okay, fist distance. Yeah, forward. so just a little bit, just a little bit. Five, 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 contact and three, and one, two, two, but six, zero, then five, we're going to apply one. back pressure. Two, six, zero, okay. five, five, and six, then five, roll five. in full power. As the nose comes light, we're going to add lots of right pedal. And as the main wheels come off, we're going to add some left stick. Copy, zero, wind zero, seven, zero degrees, three dots, runway zero, five, clip, take off. We have to take off, zero, five, uh, copy, two. At what point do we go back? So now, increase uh, power. Increasing. Yeah, we're going to get this up to 250. Okay. okay. That's it, keep increasing. Increase power. Keep going, keep going. That's it, don't be shy, a bit more power. More, more, more. Until this comes up to 250. Go on, give it some. You're being very gentle at the moment. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's okay. I'll tell you what, that'll do us. Okay, number one, release the pre-rotator. Two, stick fully back. Three, release the brake. Four, add power. That's it. Good. So now we're just watching this uh, rotor up here and coming yep. back up. There it goes, 250 there. Stick forward an inch or two, that's it. Roll in more power, back pressure. Pull back. And back pressure, that's it. Right pedal, left stick. RPMs are good. It. That's it, small movements. Just hold it there. Watching the airspeed coming up. When we get to 65. Up we go, raise the nose, and I'm going to trim back. This is the uh, trim on the top here. Okay. So I'll take some of the pressure out of the hand. That's it, keep the nose up nice and high. Okay. There we go. How's that? So feel free to tweak this trim yourself now okay. until you're absolutely That's comfortable. That's pretty good. Maybe okay, a little bit. Good. Well done. 65 is what we're looking for? Yeah, before we, we, we uh, climb out. We can actually do it a little bit less because this is actually in knots. Uh, we normally do it at 65 miles an hour. Let's take a left here. So have you ever seen these black lines on the windscreen before? I have not. I've seen the string. Ah, uh, okay. So we use the, the black lines as a, as a training aid. Um, so it's really a uh, horizon reference indicator. And so when we're, when we're training folk to fly, we get them to set it in this position. So with, however far it is from the true horizon, um, we ask them to keep it there. And essentially what you'll find, of course, is if you keep the nose at the same uh, attitude, your, your airspeed will remain pretty constant. So basically just going to catch up to him so if you want to lower the nose a little bit or we'll get a bit more air speed God, I'm quite warm, are you warm? Yes I bet you uh, Dean is not warm but I'm warm Golf, Charlie Golf to the Golf formation Roger, it is a basic service and whilst you remain over the Black Isle there's no altitude restriction There we go, you're feeling relaxed 
I'm not relaxed, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right, you want me to climb a little bit, or is this good? Yeah, let's, uh, well, let's, let's get... Catch up to him first. Catch up to him. We'll stick to his left-hand side. Yeah. And uh, remain below. So, tell you what, can I take control for a bit? Yes. Uh, Your controls? Uh, yeah, I have. So I'm going to drop down. I don't want to get too close. Don't want to look like a uh, fighter. We've got permission to one extend to, to the uh, lock nest from that position. Hey, for uh, heading uh, to the first first and then uh, right, go to the top. Also, the golf roger uh, to the uh, north for the south and the north end of the Kettle Bridge. Thanks for letting me take off. That's all right. That's good. One zero two four on it. Five 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 six on the aircraft. There we go. Right next. Five six on the aircraft. Descent altitude three thousand seven hundred feet. Descent altitude three thousand seven hundred feet on it. Five six on the aircraft. Do you want to take control? Okay, I have the controls. Okay, they're probably going to cruise quite slow. 50 to 60, I imagine. So, uh, okay. Right, let's bring the power back to 29, say. And uh, we'll just go straight and level. The um, thing is, because of the wind for them, uh, they're going to want to fly slow, so uh, that's it. And if we just slow right down, so raise the nose, right up. There we go. We'll just hold it there and let them catch up. So... Tell you what, let's do a hover, shall we? A what? A hover. A hover. So, All right. so if you just raise the nose, yep, and then right up, and we're going to slow right down to about 35. Uh, so keep pulling back, keep pulling. Then add some more power up to about 30, 34. So keep the nose right up in the air. There we go. That's it. Pull, pull, pull. That's it. There we go. Look up there. Up oh, there. wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So. So, lots of right pedal. Pin balance and a bit of left stick pressure. Stop it roll. So there's a lot of, uh, the engine's trying to twist us at the moment, so we've got to do a lot of uh, counter, countering it. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Hello. Good. That's a big mansion castle house thing on your left. Oh, there's a, a few great buildings here. Okay, let's lower the nose now, and we'll get back to normal cruise speed. So we'll let it come up, keep, uh, let it come up to kind of 60, and then power back to about 29 again. And what we're gonna do is, uh, that's, it. that's it. So now this is where this black line really comes in helpful. So if you look at the T in front of you, yes. that's the center point for you. So just keep it in the same place and everything will keep the same. Okay. So we're gonna to head to the start of Loch Ness. So you always wanna be conscious of your landing areas, of course. Got a so, field right uh, here. Yeah, we've got a, a little track out to our left here. We could land on there. There's some nice houses just down here, a couple of castles. I can see you living in one of those. <laughs> right. <laughs> Quick uh, aircraft check. Well, temperatures and pressures are good. We've got plenty of fuel. Aircraft looks happy. We're 
blistering along now, doing 90, so we've probably left them behind a little bit. So if we just, uh, if we, I'll tell you what, we can raise the nose a, a fraction, and then uh, once we get over the water, we'll just uh, sit and hover and wait for them to catch up again. Loch Ness. So you've got to keep your eyes peeled for the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> you get a special prize if you can see it. That really put uh, this lock on the worldwide map, didn't it? For sure. How cold is the water? <laughs> Very cold. All year round, is it pretty cold? You can't swim in this without... Uh, well, there are, you know, the, the Scots are hardy types. So <laughs> yes, they are. They'll certainly swim in it. My, my kids will swim in it, uh, but I will not swim in it. You won't, because it's too <laughs> I cold. I will not. It's far too chilly for me. I'm a delicate flower, you know? <laughs> I didn't think there were any delicate flowers in Scotland. Well, there's a few of us. So we can't see the end yet. Oh wow, yeah, okay, this is long. So if we head over to this left-hand side. Okay. And then maybe what we'll do once we're over the end bit here, we'll turn and look up. And looking for them? Yeah. Can't see them on this side. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> It's pretty good, huh? So they are just behind us according to the map. So... You want me to turn and look at them? Yeah, let's, let's turn oh, that right. Way? Just keep your eye over your right shoulder in case they're there. Okay, right turn looks clear. So to okay. give an idea on the map. Good uh, good morning. Oh, wow. Well. Rick Glenn and uh, Loch Ness takes you know, quite a quite a fair proportion of that. Wow. So more looks in between. So Loch Ness holds more fresh water than all other lakes and lochs in the uh, UK. In the UK? Yeah. So, so Loch Ness is the largest of the lochs? It is, yeah. It's, the thing is, it's, it's the, if you look at the geography, it actually comes straight down. It funnels all the water. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty deep. It holds an awful lot of water. Okay, shall we uh, just roll left slightly and we'll, we'll start heading back to the airport. Okay, okay level straight there. I think he's going off over this next um, look. So why does uh, this particular gyro Is this particular, what's the whistling sound? It's just the wind coming through these little... Okay, things. just to make sure I haven't yeah. done anything. Nice. Uh, why does this uh, gyro pilot from the right side, whereas the others pilot from the left like fixed wing? Uh, I, well, I think it's because uh, we, in the UK at least, we always fly gyros with the right hand. Okay. Which means the throttle is always the left hand. Um, now, I have a, a throttle extension bar right. as an instructor, but most of the aircraft don't have them. Oh, okay. okay. And so really, um, it's because <laughs> the throttle's in the middle, and that's simply it, I would, I would argue. Okay. We've got some wind coming in from somewhere. is a good uh, early warning system when you're flying fast. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, we are doing uh, yeah, we'll be 100, 100, 100 knots. Uh, yeah. 
Well, I don't know about you, but I'm very relaxed. Uh, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm relaxed? not there yet, but I'm, no. this is good for me. Yeah. Uh, this handles so much easier than the Sparrowhawk. Yeah. Um, yeah, just like the MTOs. Yeah. No, I've, I've never flown the Sparrowhawk, so uh, I can only imagine. Really. Have you flown the RAFs? The RAF 2000? I've not. I've, not. I've only ever flown Autogyro um, uh. aircraft. Uh, the ma that manufacturer. So I'm uh, very comfortable in all their okay, aircraft. Yeah, confirm your level, please. Yeah. The other thing that uh, took me a while to get used to coming from fixed wing is that uh, in fixed wing you step on the ball. When you're yeah. looking at your yarn, you actually step away from the yarn. That's right. Yeah, it That's took right. me a it's while right. uh, to get used to that. Yeah. Done. Thank you, thank you. That was awesome. All right, Dan. How was it? That was great. That was medicine. That was. Uh, Is it what you need? It was a healing flight. Yes. Am I gonna like it? You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely. Okay. <laughs>